in the world of the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. That's right, it's me, it's me, your favorite granddaddy. That's right, we're coming to you live, right here on Twitch. Walking around the roof, what are we going to do? Well, uh, let's see. You know, I just decided to get back on this today. It's been a rough bummer of a day, so why not pick myself up by playing a little bit of AC Brotherhood. Yes, it's a big, big pickup for me. All right, so let's look at this real quick and see. Okay, we need to unlock those, so we might as well buy them right now. We're right on top of it. Let's get this. We got plenty of loot right now. I'm not worried about it. Once we get over by the... Um, uh, where did I say I wanted to go? The Thieves' Guild. Yes, the Thieves' Guild. Once we get over by that guild... Uh, there is a bank over there, so if we need to, we can get the bank. Then I can always get to the... Uh, <clears throat> hopefully, if we have enough, we'll just get the crossbow. Ooh, 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 I like the crossbow. But we need to invest in Rome in order for Rome to invest in us. Yes, if only everything was that easy, right? So we're getting four grand every 20 minutes. <clears throat> so, all right, which way are we going? Which, which exclamation point do I want to go towards? That one over here. So what we're going to do is we'll just go get the aqueduct. We'll get the uh, stable, <coughs> excuse me again, and then we're going to go to that Borsha Tower. Fair enough. Sounds like a plan. I thought so. I came up with it, so yeah. It's my plan. If you have a plan, you can execute it on your game, right? All right, there you go. Unless I, we were playing multiplayer, and then we could both execute it together. How fun would that be? Well, I don't know. Because we're not. So here we go. All right, we're just gonna run on through here. And as always, if we spot a treasure or spot a flag or maybe a feather, we will pick those up, right? Yes, well, we already got this one over there. Correct, yes, of course, we're correct. Got that one when we were going after that Porsche captain. And there we go. You just got to go find the architect, which are these fellas here. See him wearing the beret with the with the maps on his back. See, gentlemen, got the great mustache. There you go. Okay. So they're pretty expensive. I mean, it's not cheap by any means. But they do come in handy when you got to get certain flags and certain viewpoints. It helps out. Okay. Got so there we go. <laughs> and you got eight of those throughout Rome. And they're all about 3500 apiece. Not cheap. But they must be done. And so must the stables. Fix it up. We can grab a horse. Okay. So there we go. Just like that, we've upped it by another 300 of... Uh, 20 minute time period so let's go hit this tower get on the horsey there you go good good Ezio all right it's that right there okay now if that's the one I'm thinking of the yeah. captain's gonna be over here by the side and he's usually like is he on the horse He's usually, I think this is the one where he addresses the troops. And you're basically out in, you know. He's like right out in the open, but you got a lot of troops that you got to deal with. If it's the one I'm thinking of, okay. There's a treasure right here. If it's the guy I'm thinking of, and I hope it is. Because if it is, then all we have to do is equip, we equip our pistol and you just go at him that way simple enough right but it's just a matter of getting to the right <coughs> spot and I'm trying to you know it takes me a second to figure out which one it is 
uh, on how we're going to approach it. And I think it is the one I'm thinking it is. So if we work this way, okay, there's some guards there. We got to watch out for them. But if I come around right on the other side of that wall, maybe is what I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on it. Look at that. They just disappeared. Wonderful. Okay. I'm just kind of taking a wide pattern here. Not 100% sure where he is. There's the tower. If it's the one I'm thinking of, he'd be over this way. Okay, they're going that way. Again, I'm not sure exactly which one it is. So we're just going to kind of skirt the edge here. Got a lot of guys on rooftops. Whew. They had me. <clears throat> there he is. All right. Yep. <clears throat> it is the one I'm thinking of. All right. There he is over there on the horse. Yep. <clears throat> it is the one I'm thinking of. So what we're going to do is... Make sure... I'm going to take him out quickly and silently. Okay, then we got those guards there. Those are not guards down here. So what we're going to do is... <coughs> excuse me. We're going to kind of just cut across here real quick. Okay. See what we're doing here? And then I'm going to inch past those guards. Okay. And we're just going to kind of work our way around here. And what I plan on doing is going behind this wall. Hopefully I can do it quickly without being seen. Follow my lead at all times. Okay. I have experience. Now I want to select the gun. Straight up gun. I know that. Do what I do and you will be safe. Always there be go. aware right. of your surroundings. Our strength comes through vigilance. There we go. Up. Assassins will not attack from in front. Just like that. <coughs> we got him out of the equation, so. And just like that, easy peasy. See how that went? Isn't that nice? No fuss, no muss. Very uh, simply done. Hardly any conflict whatsoever. They scattered. Now comes the tricky part. You can do this one of two ways. You can go back the way we came. Right? And just evade everybody. Or you could just do a straight on. Balls to the walls. Run to the tower. Okay, which is right there. Okay, so all we got to do is a straight up and hope that you get out of their viewpoint before they realize who you are. Okay. All right, we'll just do that. Okay, took him out. Nicely nice. Okay, then we're going to come up here. Okay, just like this. This is actually a pretty simple one to traverse when you think about it. Okay, so we're gonna come across here. There you go. See how easy that was? I mean, it's one of the easiest ones we could do, I think, isn't it? It's probably the easiest ones we've done thus far, maybe. So here we go. Just <clears throat> took care of that captain and that Borgia Tower and quickly, almost silently. Yeah, I mean, 
looking at that one, it doesn't get much easier than that, in my opinion. Uh, that one, yeah, we just knocked that one right out of the park. Great job. Great job. Okay, there's our blacksmith unlocked. I have a selection. Um, I think we got a couple other things in the area, maybe. No? No, we don't. Okay, it's just blacksmith, and then you got that. Okay, so I'm going to get to that. Uh, you know what? It's smart if we get that before the thieves. So let's let's do that before we hit the thieves uh, guild. I think I, it's just smarter to do that because there's less guards involved with it, I think. Because uh, you do have to cross that area. So, yeah, it, it's just smarter. Much smarter to deal with now. And if I'm in the right area, there should be... Is there a treasure chest down in there? There is. Okay, I thought so. That might be one that's got the... Uh, Oh, one of the um, quest items in there. Shrunken head, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, the shrunken head was in that. Okay, so here we go. It's over here. It's very helpful to come from this direction because you can see that right there. See, okay. <clears throat> now, the, the best way to do this is to wait for him to come out here you're going to see that he comes to this dock, right? See where he is? He's talking to those fellows there. He turns around and goes back. So, this is where it gets kind of tricky, right? The best way to, best spot to strike him at is when he's on that stretch of dock going this east-west. Okay? So, we want to come across over here. We're going to go around on these building tops, and we're going to come up over there. Because you can't swim past these guys. They'll spot you the second you come up, and he doesn't hold his breath long enough. Now, if he were to come to the very end of this dock here, it'd be easy peasy, but he doesn't. Okay. And since we do not have our double assassination ability right now, we cannot... Um, take the two guards out at the same time which means we have to do one at a time which means we would then alert the captain to our presence because one of them's going to talk and squeal right? exactly so we're better off just <clears throat> skirting the edge okay on the building tops because you're going to want to see him as we do it. So right where he is right now is the best spot to strike him. Okay, because you're not going to have guards seeing you. Well, those guys might see me. That guy's definitely going to see us and that's why we got to take him out. Okay? So we're going to come around here and we're going to take this guard out here pretty quick and simple. Okay? Drop him down, okay. Wouldn't hurt to take those guys out, but I'm not terribly worried about it right now. Okay, if I'm quick enough, I can get there right now. Now, we wait for him. There he goes. Now, the only problem with that, there's one minor problem to that. And you can't, it is that you can't loot him. That is the minor problem involved. So we just lost a bunch of uh, thorns. And that's never fun, is it? No, we don't want to lose money. It's, we don't want to lose adventure here. No. Now, I think the uh, shite. Hold on. Fell right into that one, didn't I? Pin cushion. 
Just get out of his line of sight. In the water he goes. Alright, these guys just kind of came out of nowhere on me, didn't they? Oh, that's a bit rude. Uh, but yeah, it's just like in the other games, if you toss them in the drink, they don't come back. They are done. They are toast. Actually, not toast. If they were toast, they'd be very soggy. And nobody wants soggy toast. No. Take him out. Nice and easy. All right. Now, that crossbow guy, he is going to come over, and he's going to come up the ladder. So, But it gives you plenty enough time to loot this guy. Here he comes. Come on. Any day now. Oh, he gave up. All right. Fine. He gave up. Yeah, he gave up. Okay. We don't need to worry about him. So then we just come up here and we work our way up the building. Like so. Oh, there you go. Up this way. Come on. That's a good boy. And we just got a deposit. And so we got 12.5. So we need another six grand to get the uh, crossbow. Because the crossbow was 18, correct? Yes, it was. At least when we checked last time. Of course, we have unlocked a uh, blacksmith or two in the meantime. So, a couple more deposits, and we will be able to have the. Uh, we will be able to have enough money to get the crossbow. So, hopefully, by the time we get to the thieves' guild, we will have the money for the crossbow. But then you got to turn around and upgrade the thieves' guild. So. You see the dilemma that I'm in here? Because we also want money for the the courtesans, which means I'll have to do the barracks challenge before we do the courtesan. Courtesan, courtesan, Corsican. <laughs> Corsican Brothers. Great Cheech and Chong movie. If you haven't seen it, you should. If you like that kind of humor. If you don't like that kind of humor, then you should watch it. But I love the Corsican Brothers. It's one of my favorite uh, Cheech and Chong movies. Don't neglect your health after your okay. soul. What could be more important? Now we're going to go unlock or purchase the blacksmith here. I think you know, that hopefully that gives us a little bit extra uh, discount. Either way, we're getting five grand every 20 minutes Listen, now, so man, we're, we're really moving and grooving here, so I'm not sad. Of, oh, there we go. We're 25% renovated for this district. That's very good. I like that. So we're going to get the fast travel point. I call it fast, even it's a tunnel, but it's a fast travel point, right? We all know that. Fast travel point before they, we got fast travel points. How about that? Yes, exactly. Okay, that being said, let's take a look at what we're doing here. Okay, so we want to... I, that doctor's already open, so we want to... We'll do the... Uh, what are those? Stables, that's what I'm looking for. Jeez, oh, Pete, how do you not know what the word stable is? God... Yeah, it's been one of those kind of days today for me. Um, yeah. Maybe it was the fact that we had a... This is was a really nice warm day, but... I think there's a flag behind me. Um, but yeah, it's just... I, I can't explain it. Yeah, there's a flag. I can't explain the day that I've had. Just that, you know, I'm in one of those... Eh, moods. In different moods. Blah. Uh, I guess, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Everything's kind of coming to a head and it just makes no sense. How about that? Does that make sense? If it does, hey, I'm with you. If it doesn't, well, I'm happy for you. That, uh, it doesn't. Okay, so here we are at the 
stables, you know, where they keep the horses. Anybody watch Kentucky Derby this past weekend? Hmm. Pretty cool that that uh, a come from behind win. I like that. You know. I think it's a bit crazy though that we, you know, we people go and spend so much money and and I don't, I don't, I. The older I get, the less I understand about pomp and circumstance and all that garbage. You know, it's just, to me, it's needless. It's wasteful. It, it, all the money blown on horse racing and all the money blown on people's outfits and garbage like that could be put to so much better use around this beautiful orb we call the Earth. So many people could help and be benefited by the amount of money spent on these. I'm sorry, but they're stupid, right? You know, now I'm a huge fan of football. I'm a huge fan of basketball. Okay, I love my hockey. I tolerate my baseball. Only when the Cubs are on do I tolerate baseball. You know, uh, but I'm sorry. Athletes, you get paid way too much frickin' money for what you do. I'm sorry. You do. You know. And that, you know, that's our fault as a society. We've, we've allowed these positions to make so much ridiculous cash. And it's ridiculous. You know, and... There, there's just such a level of greed. It's so sad. You know, and it's so... Uh, misleading to our youth. On what is accomplishable in life. You know, if, if you can make it to your sport of choice professional league, you're, you're in the elite. You really are. You know, you, 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 you're there. And uh, congratulations. But, yeah, you, you do make a little bit too much money. And there we go. Wonderful. See, there you go. All right, so there's that. There is a flag. Maybe there's a flag. Is there a flag? No, there's a feather. That's what it is. There's a flipping feather flopping around. And so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. We're just going to go down over here. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't want to do that. Hey. That worked out nicely, though. So what I want to do is I want to get up there because there's a feather at the top of that over there. So what we do is we climb, is it, wait. Yeah, uh, it's this one. Wasn't it? Maybe it's not. All right, stop camera, you're screwing with my brain here. There it is, okay, now we got it. Now we just do this. Pretty straightforward on what you do. Right, okay. Pretty sure there isn't a, flag on any of those the flag is over there if I remember right it's over on that I think somewhere yeah this has the feather right there right okay lovely 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 okay got the feather and guess what there's a wonderful little leap of faith right here groovy down we go okay we're all set now we can go do our thing and go to the thieves the thieves guild as I look off in the distance for a flag that just isn't there <laughs> all right so here we go now if you have not played this game before <clears throat> you're probably saying to yourself and maybe you're not but maybe you are <clears throat> why are those freaking birdhouses everywhere. Well, I'll tell you why. Once we complete the uh, Mercenary Barracks Guild area, uh, our assassin contracts 
become available. And that is where you pick up your assassin contract. Uh, and I believe they are sent from Bartolomeo's wife. That's right, Bartolomeo. He gets a wife in this one. Very nice gal. Very smart and savvy gal. I like that word, savvy. Savvy. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, she sends out the contracts. You go ahead, take care of business. And bingo, bongo, bongo. Bob's your uncle. You make some loot. Also, when you want, you're out in the world and you have your your uh, brotherhood of assassins. That is where you can send them on missions and upgrade them, uh, rather than just having to go back to your hideout. If that makes sense, well, it should make sense. Why wouldn't it make sense? It should make sense. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. I'm just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Woo! Bark, 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 bark. Okay. What am I doing? Goodness gracious, why would I say such a thing? Crazy. Have I lost my mind? Maybe. Do I care? Maybe not. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Headed to the thieves. And guess who's in charge of the thieves in Rome? Our good old buddy, our pal, that sly dog himself, La Volpe. Yes, that's right. La Volpe has picked up from Florence and moved to Rome. What an interesting, interesting series of events, hey? Wonderful. Okay, here we go. I'm just going through here because I'm... I could have sworn we had treasures in and around that area. I guess I was wrong. Here is stables. So let's open the stables. Right? Okay. These all around the Thieves Guild you do have a stable you have a stables, you have a doctor, you have a tailor, you have a bank, and you have a blacksmith. Look at that, we have five out of the nine stables renovated. How cool is that? What an accomplishment. What an accomplishment. So proud of us all. Okay, so over here, there's the tailor. You don't have to open it. The bank is right here, wonderful. How much do we have in the bank right now? We've got, oh. Oh, I was like, oh wow, we're at capacity. We are at capacity, what am I doing? Withdraw money, please. Thank you very much. And you know what that means. Ooh, Crossbow City. Ha, ha, ha. And look at what's right over here. Let us open that. And I would like to place an order, please. That's right. You heard me. I'd like to place an order, Mr. Blacksmith Man. And no, you don't look creepy at all. Not creepy at all. He looks creepy. Okay, so there we go. 12. All right, it was at 18, wasn't it? I don't know, but now we're at 12. So, crossbow, please. And I thank you very much. Got the crossbow. Uh, we should be good on bolt. We get 15 bolts right off the bat. Bullets were good. Knives were good. Wonderful. Uh, small weapons. The butcher knife. I'm telling you. But we need it. We need the money for other things. Uh, same thing with swords and whatnot. We need we need the money for other things right now. Uh, let's see what pouches are available at this moment. So we got the large medicine pouch. <sighs> mm. I mean. Not right now. Of course, I understand. Not right now. Not Ciao right now. Then. Okay. We're going to go un unlock the uh, the doctor and the paint, the paint art merchant. Paint, paint art merchant? You know, those fellas. 
that sell you the maps. These fellas here. We're going to upgrade it. Those fellas, they got the paintbrush on their sign. That means they sell art. They must be very good at what they do. No, uh, he's just the same the creepy guy, but with a uh, neater hat and uh, vest. <laughs> all right, and not a creepy voice at all. <clears throat> right? Okay. So there we go. We got. Okay, now we're all set and done in the area, so you don't have a viewpoint yet because you have to renovate the Thieves Guild or Den, whatever they want to call it. You have to renovate it before you can uh, do... Oh, I thought that was a treasure down here. Why, why did I think that? There is a treasure in one of those. Um, gosh, why am I... Maybe it's this one. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying about the Thieves Guild, once you upgrade that and renovate it, then it becomes a viewpoint and you climb to that and hey, we got nutmeg. And then uh, you will have that area opened, which doesn't really matter because we we just bought everything. And that, sorry, that doesn't become available until it's upgraded as well. So here we go, we go inside the inn. <laughs> Ezio, La Volpe. And that activates surprised the to see you. cut scene and why have you with La Volpe. At my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. There we go. You want to put my spies to work? Yes, we do. Then join me. Give us and your spies, La Volpe. No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. Now, I recognize a that serious voice. Allegation Maybe coming it's from a similar thief. to another actor what or something. Your proof? But I recognize the voice. He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled <clears> as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he Maybe it's just because I've played this game so many attack. times and I've heard that Machiavelli voice. May not please and it's probably tastes, multiple voices in the games throughout the Ezio. Not a traitor. Probably throughout the uh, Assassin's Saga, maybe even, you know? Uh, he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Okay. Care to accompany so we got a I company, La Volpe. Then you got to... Do a couple of things. You gotta rescue one of the thieves. You gotta get him back. Uh, where are we going here? Okay, we gotta go meet La Volpe. We gotta meet La Volpe. He's the green target. Target, target. <coughs> Goodness gracious, I tell you, this dry throat. Uh, with the dry air and the uh, springtime comes dry, itchy throat. Probably not the best thing to have when you're trying to do a uh, live stream. Re do any kind of recording where you're talking. You know, I'm constantly wetting my whistle. You know, ooh, do not fall in the water. It would not be good. Okay, here we go. Maybe, okay, maybe it is just this area that we gotta, I don't know. Okay, we meet up with him. He's at the top of the, up in there. Next one over. Next one, he's up and over there. Oh, let's just do this. We'll do this, right? Yeah, okay, we'll do this. Jump, jump, jump. Hop, skip, and jump. He's in that. But what? before we go in that, I'm going to get a lozenge just so it clears up my throat here real quick. Okay, talk amongst yourselves in the chat. Uh, talk amongst yourselves on the comments. I don't know what you do. Maybe you should take a time to get a lozenge yourself. Or maybe get something to drink. Or even that well-needed potty break. Unless you're watching this on your phone or something that you would take with you, and then, wow. Uh, I don't know what to say. If you're on the toilet watching this, that's, that's, I don't know what to say. <laughs> that's a, all right. Why I went down that path, I don't know. We'll, we'll get right off of that path and back on track. How about that? 
Yep, that's the kid that get injured, and there we go. He's hurt, and you got to get him to safety because hey! these guys are coming down on him. Volpe, my son Claudio has been injured. They're Claudio. going to shoot him. I will kill these. Go, get the others. Okay, you will kill those, and I will get these. What are we doing? That's what I'm doing. I tell you what I'm doing. I'm taking these guys out. Oh, you dirty, dirty bastard. Okay, where is Claudio? All right, fine. These guys, you know, these guys are just kind of... They're annoying me. All right, are we good? There's another one over there that I think Volpe is taken care of. I don't know. But I'm going to kind of do a little bit of looting here. He's coming around. Where you at, son? All right, there he is. He's coming up there. Crossbow. Should be able to reach him with my crossbow. Where the hell is he? Oh! There. Volpe didn't do much of a good job with that, did he? No, we saved his ass. They are going to kill me. <clears throat> Pay attention. Do okay, do. Claudio. We gotta take Claudio to <clears throat> safety. So you gotta blend. This is where. Oh. Yeah, we gotta go this way. We're notorious right now. So we're gonna go this way. You gotta avoid guards. You gotta utilize the map to see where the guards are. And then you've got to get in crowds uh, of like multiple people. So we're going to kind of go here. Got to watch your dots. Kind of should be all right through here. There's the first group of guards is over there. So see this group that's blinking? All right, they're leaving right now. I'm not going to risk getting into them right now because you get another one coming along here in just a second. Here they come. There they are, okay? And what they're gonna do, they're gonna stand there and you're gonna get in that group. Come on, Claudio. And you're gonna walk with this group. Stay with them. All right, and you can, you know, once you start walking, you can pretty much take your hand off the stick and you will stay blended with them okay and you just see how that goes and they're gonna take you right on down down to there they turn around they come back now we've got one more set to get past which I think this way should be yep they are blind to it so we're good to go and then you just come over to the marker right here Pretty simple, wouldn't you say? say Claudio. All right, so Claudio made it to safety. You can. Not the grazie, Messini. Keep out of sight for a while. All right, Desi. The guards are looking for there you. There we go. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. And here you go. You that, that's another reason maybe you should save the thieves until the end. <laughs> uh, do the you courtesans and the barracks first, because once you do the thieves guild, you then collect notoriety and we all know how much fun notoriety is don't we yes so what we do is there's our target walking that way he'll be coming into our range here shortly all right he's going that way where is he going what's he doing all right, he's, oh no, he's not gonna disappear into the gate, is he? Just had to get that taken care of quick, just in case he evaporated into thin air. You know, that would have been no bueno. And of course, then we take our wanted poster down. Nice. And we're clear of notoriety, and now we go back to Volpe. 
Go back to Volpe at the Thieves Guild. Now that you know how to do the notoriety, which is the same as AC2. Although I think the payoffs are a lot cheaper in this one. I think the payoffs are only 100, whereas the last game they were like 500, weren't they? Was it? Or was it, uh, yeah, I think it was. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Come on, jump down, you dirty, sassy little horse, you. Okay. So we're just going to go to the Volpe. And we will be able to upgrade or renovate, however you want to say it, the Thieves Guild. Here we go. He has his doubts about Machiavelli, too, by the way. What Volpe a does. night this has been. Volpe, listen to Okay. Me. I know what we saw, but you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. There you I go. He's sure sticking up it. for his buddy. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. There you go. Trust, you believe Machiavelli trust the Ezio. Loyal to the order. Trust the Ezio. Ezio knows. So, what Ezio's about the thieves? Good judge we had plans to repair this old building, but okay. now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. <clears throat> we need to make sure the Borgias stay away. There you Perhaps go. it could look like an inn. Look yes. like an inn. That's a great mm, little like that cover idea. story. Then I will make it so. Disguise. A disguise. And he's going to make it so. What are we doing? Star Trek? Make it so? Huh? Okay. Talk to the... Uh, how much does it cost? I don't know. What do we, it'll, it'll take it off. So it'll tell us. Right? I don't know. I think it's like three grand or 3500 Something like that. Yeah. Something like that, I don't know. It's it's not terribly expensive. Welcome, Ezio, to La Volpe Addormentata. There you go. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect it's real perfect. So when you do the... Guild will be run from here. Uh, Visit me whenever you like. Thieves challenges. There might be objectives to pursue that will help You can get awarded Volpe's sword. I see you thieves compete against each other. Uh, I think it's... You can participate Cheaper you cost of thieves. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. And ah, I don't yes, know I the forgot. third. We also have gambling. Because there's three segments it is for a great each challenge. Source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. But I know that the, the weapon thing, you get is Volpe's sword. need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken. And they all usually have uh, the city a reward of already. lower cost for Molto those bene. particular Come to Isola services, whether it be fight. thieves, courtesan, or Asha. merc. So let's just go check that real quick. Um, where is it? I think, is it in here? Okay, that's, to, there it is. It's the chalkboard. So we're going to go over to the chalkboard and we're going to examine it, right? Okay. Okay, no, it's straight up stuff. I'm, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Revelations where it's split into three different segments. So, okay, what, all you get is, uh, Volpe's sword by completing these. Okay, so, uh, you need to do, uh... Hire ten, hire thief groups ten times. You need to sprint uninterrupted, uh, uh, uninterrupted, 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 like lava. No, uninterrupted for thirty meter, three hundred meters. Oh, oh, I wish it was thirty. That'd be easy. Three hundred meter dash. How about that? There you go. Then everybody's favorite: jump from a horse to a beam, twenty times. Pain in the butt. 40 leaps of faith, those pretty much come, you know, they, they just they just happen. Perform a dive from 25 meters. Get 250 from pickpocketing. That's pretty simple. Glide a cumulative total of 500 meters with a parachute. Not just one, but you can do it as many times as you want to get 500 meters. Kill 25 guards with a ranged weapon. Uh, crossbow. I also think the, uh, well, no, I don't think the dar the poison darts count. And then air assassinate guards from a beam. Five times. 
you know, I wish the jump from a horse to a beam was five times and you had to air assassinate 20 guards from a beam. That would be so much better. But anyhow, you do all those things and you will be awarded Volpe's sword. Now, with the assassins, uh, you get Altair's sword. So it's pretty uh, evident, probably, on which one I pick to do and to complete as quickly as possible. What you say? See, now look it. Right there, viewpoint. Ho ho! So let's just climb to the top of the inn, in air quotations, you know, because it's an inn, right? Got a ladder right here, it's just handy enough. As I'm looping around, up we go. And we gotta go up a level. I think, I don't know, probably didn't have to. No, we didn't because, I don't know, did we? I don't know, where the heck is the thing? Where, there it is, you know, we didn't have to go out a level. So we'll just go here, synchronize him. Then we go to the lair of Romulus. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do a lair of Romulus. And I think it's the one I probably don't like the most. If it's the one I'm thinking of, I don't know. No, I got that treasure, didn't I? Yes, I did, thank you very much. All right, thanks for coming. Don't forget to tip your waiters. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go this way. Just follow this trail around. You can run, you can call a horse, you can, you know, whatever you want to do. Okay. There's a flag up there. We'll go get that flag. Just because we're good like that. Has he lost his mind? Yes, I have lost my mind. Just just to make you say, have I lost my mind? That's why I'm doing this. You silly monk. Tricks are for kids. Okay, just kind of hopping around, having a good old time. Ah, uh, you know, it is what it is. Okay, and as you can see right there, woohoo, yes. And there you can purchase that eventually, but I'm not going to do it right now. So here we go, into the lair of Romulus. And I think this is the one that I find annoying, I think. I'm not 100% sure, though. I'll be able to tell at the beginning, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Where you gotta, it's basically an underground maze. And yeah, it's a, the one I'm thinking of, it's an underground maze, and I think you got, oh, either, it's, yeah, it's this one. Uh, there's a lot of treasure, a lot of treasure chests to get in this one, and you have eight or six, eight minutes on this one, okay. So I'm not going after 100% synchronization on it, I am actually going to be going after, uh, the collections on this one okay so we're just gonna kind of take it easy the first one is coming up I don't think it's behind me no it's gonna be up here on the left of this here you go in here treasure here all right now I don't know what's in what I don't remember. Okay, that one's just money, so if you want to bypass that one, hey, all the more power to you. All right. So we're just going to jump around that, make sure there's nothing behind me or below me. Below me. So you're going to go over here. <laughs> yes, I'm a child. Okay. Oh, you stupid idiot! Why'd you do that? Because I'm a stupid idiot. That's why I did that. Yeah, it's okay. Um. Yeah. So we're definitely not going to do any kind of setting records here. 
we're just gonna go here but learn from my mistakes you know just kind of stay on the rings it's it's a little bit easier there you go see like that rather than go up and do what I had done and there will be uh, followers of Romulus throughout this you won't encounter you shouldn't encounter any until you get right towards the end of it then you'll be in a heck of a situation to where they come at you in a room a circular room if it's if I'm right I think I'm not 100% sure like I said before a lot of these Romulus things they all kind of melt into one big memory okay and I mean we're we're, we're not setting any records like I said Oh, right there's where I'm going. Okay, so we're going to go in here. And again, just like before, there's another treasure here. Does this one have anything worthwhile? Just money. So there's another one. If you want to bypass, bypass by all means. Okay, there you go. So we're going to go this way. Now, this way is a dead end, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go this way to the treasure here. And then the other way takes you around just like that to another treasure. 492 on that one. Not too shabby. Uh, and there's that one there. <coughs> and there you go. Terracotta pot. That is one of our shop quest items. So remember that. Uh, when you come to this T section, go right and then go right and that'll take you to a terracotta pot. Okay? If all you're interested in is the chests with uh, quest items in it, that is the first one we've encountered in this uh, layer with a quest item in it. Okay, so here we go. Kind of jump, and then we got another one coming up here. Let me double check. What are we doing? Yeah, because we're okay. All right, because I know we come up in an area that's going to take us to a flag. I don't know if this is that area or not. Okay, this one you can bypass. It's just money if. Like I said before, you're just going for stuff. Okay, where did this bring me? Okay, I think, yeah, no, no, I think I'm in the right mind here of this is the path to a flag. I think. Or the other way it was. Okay, let me think. Two, two, two. Nope, there's the flag right there. You see the flag over there? So if we would have gone the other way, we would have come out probably somewhere down there. Okay, so we're going to jump out here. Yeah, see down there is where we would have come out. Okay, so this way takes you to the flag. Okay. And you just kind of swing on over. Okay, and then you come out to this. Now, and that's going to swing you down there. But since we're not doing this for time, okay, I am going to go back this way, and we are going to go the other so that you see what we're doing, okay? And also, just in case we might have missed. Uh, don't try that at home, kids. It's not a smart move. Just in case we might have missed anything, which we didn't because that is where we would have come out down there and you just do your lift setup and it brings you up here and then this. Okay, so... You don't miss anything if you go that way, but you do miss, if you don't go that way, you miss getting that flag. Get me? 
Got me? Good. So then you just free run on through here. Okay. Just lovely, lovely jumps and swings, jumps and swings. Having a grand old time. Okay. Little, all right. Now this is where I always get turned around. Uh, because... I think you go all the way to the end and then you go all the way to the end if I'm not mistaken, right? You see these guys running around. Uh, I'm just going through and we're going to check just to make sure there's no uh, treasure chests that we're missing. You know, I'm not... There we go. Okay, so we didn't want to miss this. Very important for uh, one of the... Uh, Quests. Can't remember which one it's for, but it's very important. Get those coins. Okay, so this is going to take us back to where we were. Okay. There is the warning for hey, you're running out of time, genius. Okay, so we've just done a big square there, alright? So we're going to go. Let me go this way. We'll get this here, okay. Like I said, we're not... Okay, that one, you can skip that one because that's just money. So if you're just going for stuff, uh, that one is not needed, right? Okay, so does it look like we have... Okay, that's blocked off. This is not. But is this... Okay, there we go. We went around that little square there. Going this way. We're going to go right, but we're going to go left first to get this. <clears throat> Alright, that has green jasper, so that's one you're going to want to get. Okay. So the Vlad coins and the green jasper are in that. And those are both... Well, no, the Vlad coins were not on the way. Those were off to the side, weren't they? Just make note. How about that? Hopefully you're paying attention to making notes. I don't know. Maybe you aren't. I don't know. It's up to you on what you want to do. It's not my business. Okay. Now I've always wondered. I guess if you miss your jump, that's why they have all that right there. How you could miss this, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go down into here. Nice little cool guy hanging out there. Just kind of taking it easy. All right, we're going to look around. Always look around. Double check. Unless you've been watching and taking notes, then you don't have to look around. You just see where I, I go. And write it down and copy what I did. How about that? That's nice. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Nothing over there. Nothing up there. We're good to go. I still think there's a flag around here somewhere. Uh, I thought there was at least. Okay, there's that. What do we got? We got a jar of leeches. Again, that is a keeper, so you're going to come off of that, go straight ahead, get the jar of leeches. Then we're going to come down this way. Now, well, you can only go this way. So we're going to go this way. Alright, we'll come to this section. Double check, make sure there's no other way around. And we just do our swing. And down, because there was nothing on the other side. Double check, make sure you're not missing anything over here. And we're groovy. Groovy. Okay, we're going to come out into here. We're getting... This is a leap of faith coming up here. So basically, I mean, you keep going deeper and deeper into this. Yeah. It's a good leap of faith, though. He's just going to whoo -hoo, drop the torch, baby. Actually, no, this is not a leap of faith. You have to actually climb down this way. <clears throat> okay, so we got two. All right, nothing in there. So I'm going to jump over here, right? And then you just... 
You can do this and fall and grab as you go. Like that. You can do that. Okay, and then all you gotta do is come over here and swing across. There you go. Now that's if you can time it right and just hold your B button. And then here we go down through here for a nice little walk in the catacombs. Okay. Uh, trying to remember. Ah, uh, there's treasure here, so we'll go this way first. <clears throat> Not a hundred percent on what's going where, but. I think you stay right, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But I'm gonna go both ways just to, because there is a cutscene that comes up. Maybe, the, no, this is the bright way, I bet. I hear, I hear something tingling over here. In fact, there's, there's the flag. Okay, so the other way, I'm pretty sure the other way is, takes us to the flag. So let's go back this direction. Oh, we gotta go this way. We wanna stay left, right? And go this way, okay. Left is in the direction, right as in, you know what I mean. Oh, we did this wrong, okay. Well, that just took us there. That's just for money, huh, okay. So we do go that way. There must be, I think, how do we get to that? Gotta be climbing it somewhere. Okay, let me look at this. Let me. So we're gonna come back to that. Okay, so we're gonna walk through here. Walk through here. So that's what we're gonna get to right there, right? Okay. Simple as that. See, you don't need to go through all that other garbage. Just do that in the back eject and you got that, right? So, <clears throat> we got to look for a path off the beaten path, which probably is that way. This way is probably for a treasure. Or is this the way? Oh, we're going pretty far away from that flag. So, I don't think this, this might be the way to go. That's the way to go. So... This way is probably the way to the flag. This way. So we're just gonna go. There's a treasure there, though. Let's go get the treasure here. Silk, that's important. That's important. You're gonna need that. And then this will take us right into that room where the flag was. There it is. Okay, there you go. Wonderful. So then we can kind of sprint around. We kind of know where we're going now. Right? You know where you're going. Go to the right. Then this is just going to wrap around. Wrap around. Couple laps. Alright, now we come here. Which way do we go? This way? Oh, there's something to get here. We might have, oh, elephant ivory, got to have that. I think we got to go back. Is that, no, okay, those are just dead guys. Okay, I'm going to go slow. That's where we want to go. Okay, so it looks like you can go either way. But the way we did go the first time, that took us to a treasure with elephant ivory so you might want to go that way and go to the left so that you collect that and then you will come back around here and then we hit the cutscene so you don't want to <clears throat> you don't want to activate that cutscene because you can't get back to that elephant ivory if you don't go that route okay this one's pretty I seek those easy. who lead the followers of Romulus I think you just got to take the one guy out. Maybe, I don't know. Or does he take himself out? I don't know. Yeah, okay, nobody's there. All right, so in here, 
All right, there is a flag. I thought. I could have sworn there was a flag in here somewhere. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Uh, I guess I am wrong. I thought there was a flag in here. Again, like I said, I do get confused at times on where I'm at and what I'm doing versus when it comes to these things because to be perfectly honest, they're all very similar in map out, the way they're mapped out. So I think that's why my brain sits there and says, hey, you've been here and done that. But again, I've been here and done that so many times, <laughs> you know. Okay, so we're just going to side eject to that. Up and over and then up. Okay, and then we're just going to shuffle through this. And then you'll get on that bar so you can swing over to that ledge. Okay. I could have sworn there was a flag in here. I really could have. And then we're just going to... Whew! Oh, there is a flag. See it up there? Oh, darn it. All right. Now I got to stop and look. How do I... I think over there, you got to get up there, and you shuffle around up there. But don't think... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go after that right now. So we're just going to go back and do this again, right? Okay. Okay, then we're going to, rather than go that way, we're going to go this way. Right? I thought. But maybe not. Okay. Two, two, two. Obviously. Oh! What if we get up there and back eject? Alright, that's got to be the way we go. Alright, that's got to be how you do it. Okay got to be how we do it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Bugger that. There we go. Yep, see, look, there we go. See that? There you go. Now you see what you do. So you go to that corner, back eject. That'll get you to the flag. And then you just kind of free run down to this. That would be helpful if I fall inside the situation. Yes. Okay. There we go. Now we know what's Perfect. going on. A route up if I fall. All right. A route up if he falls, which we're not going to fall. So then you come over to this side here. <coughs> jump on that one or the other one, but you don't need to jump on both. Jump, jump, jump. Over here. Now. <coughs> This one is, you got to go up on this side, right? Then you can spin around there to the back, and then you go up. See how that works? Then you come around that, and then you go up again. And then you get to the tippy top, and you jump, and you make it. Okay? Simple enough, right? Okay. And then you just kind of sprint on through this. Uh, if you're going for time, then you should be at full tilt. Uh, that way is the way that you got to go. So we're going to go this way just because I want to make sure I get everything that I need to get. Okay. That is just loot. So if you're not going after loot only, then you go this way. You don't have to go this way. You know what I'm saying, though. You know what I'm saying. All right. So I'm just going. Hopefully, you're keeping track of which way I'm going because I'm certainly not. I'm just staying to the left. And my thoughts are that I'm gonna get go in a circle. Kind of, kind of a circle. I'm just basically going the perimeter. How about that? Indian diamond. You do need the Indian diamond, so that's a very important piece to get. Okay, so do you remember where I was going? I hope you do. I hope you do. 
Okay, so we're going back this way. That's the way we came from, right? That's the way we came from, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um. Yeah. See. <laughs> Uh, going in circles here, aren't I? Yes, okay. Um, see, everything looks the same. Everything looks the same. Okay, we're, we're in a new area. So I think I'm doing... Yeah, because we're right by the green dot. So, okay, in here, you have multi-levels of guys. This is... It's a fight. Best is just to take them down. Let them come to you and then take them down. <laughs> Clear out each section and then climb. Hear us, o Romulus! What must we do They're to all this over the trespasser? Place, so. Let them all come to you. Do not listen! Only the Borgia speak through him! Not your god! <laughs> There we go. Quickly dispatching them. Okay. Let those guys regroup. You can loot these. I think that's it for this level of the height level here. Yeah. You only had four of them on this level. Then we climb up. They will come down and try and knock you off when you get to certain areas. So what you're going to do is climb up here. Uh, there's the ladder. It's easiest to take the ladder up. And they'll, there's one there. Take them out. Okay. Simple as that. Now... What we're going to end up doing is we're going to jump to that middle thing, okay? But, before I do that, I want to make sure that there's nobody else on this level that's going to sit there and throw knives at me. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to go here. Make sure it's the side with the barrels, okay? Now they're going to come over here. See you, bye. All right, then we we'll just jump over here just to get better footing. You know, they're gonna come at you, so be ready. They're climbing back up. All right. There, he's done, okay. That way you're just not getting they're not throwing stuff at you. You see what I'm saying? So here we go this way. You get up on this platform here. Now you got a guy up there. Tag him. Easy as that. Climb up here. They are going to come at you. So it's best just to get on this. Okay see how you handle that you don't want to get into a skirmish on that because then you'll fall all the way down and you lose health and if you notice we don't have a lot of health right now so it's better to you know pick where your battles are does that make sense I hope that makes sense so now we came up from there there okay and then we come over to this there's only one way in here so you come around here and this is going to take you to a lift. There shouldn't be anything in this lift area. Now if you're going for time, the clock is still ticking at this point. Alright, you got to get in here and if the main thing to remember when you're going for time, go straight to the key because that will stop the clock. Don't stop to get the treasure chest before the keys like I'm doing right now. Go straight for the key. You can get the chests after the key. It's just my OCD kicking into where I do that. I do it this way. All right. 
You know, and when I 100 this game, you know, yeah, it took, I did it two times. I did this two times, one where I got everything, and then one where I came back and I just ran straight through, didn't even, I didn't even spend time fighting those guys. And I just went straight for the key, you know, it is what it is. All right, so we got our second, is that our second or third? Uh, we did the Coliseum. That's our third. We did the first one uh, that Machiavelli basically set us up to get. Then we did the Coliseum, and then we've done this one. So we have half of the keys we need for the Brutus armor and weapon. So that's pretty cool, right? Okay. So we've done that. We've done a Thieves' Guild. <clears throat> and I think that's where I'm going to call it quits on this stream. And we will either do the barracks or the courtesans tomorrow morning. Uh, sometime. Uh, I, I think it'll be tomorrow morning. Yeah, that, that's probably when I'll do it. Um, so that's where we are with this. If you're enjoying these playthroughs uh, uh, through the Assassin's Creed franchise from beginning to the end, I mean, we're basically going to be ending with we're not going to be ending because there's going to be Creed games down the road but we're going from Assassin's Creed all the way to Valhalla in order of release okay in the order of the release and so we have to play games I don't necessarily like and we have to play games that I absolutely love like this I absolutely love this game and so if you're enjoying what I'm doing here on Twitch, uh, please help me out. Follow the channel. Okay? I'd really appreciate a follow the channel. And if you're ever on when I'm on, hey, st stop on in for the live playthrough. You know, talk to me on chat. Uh, tell me what's going on. We'll converse about our likes and dislikes about the Assassin's Creed franchises. You know, all the beautiful games that we've had over the years with this wonderful franchise. All, you know, maybe even some of the horror stories we've had with uh, certain games. Okay. It'd be, a, it'd be a pleasure to speak with you in chat while I'm playing through this. So again, follow this channel on Twitch. I'll follow your channel right back as a sign of respect. And hopefully we get to know each other and build our communities together. Okay? Also, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, hey, I'd really appreciate you subscribing to that YouTube channel. Yeah, checking out the videos. Liking the videos. It's very important to click that thumbs up. The thumbs up icon. Click it, please. If you like the video. If you don't like the video, don't click it. But if you like the video, click it. Okay? And click that little bell if you want to know when I put new videos up. If you want to be one of the first to view the video when it goes up live. Well, not live on YouTube, but you know what I'm saying. When I, you know, when I add it. Be the first to know. Click the notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Like the videos. Help me out if, if you want to. I would appreciate it. 100% you would have my adoration and appreciation. Okay? Okay. There's enough shilling and begging for one day. And as always, I hope that you treat all those you come in contact with with kindness, dignity, and respect. So until next time, ta-ta.